So I wanna talk about the power of leverage. And today is actually the eighth anniversary of my first event to do at Piazza in the Village in Collierville. I have done over a hundred weddings in that venue. I have been there so many times, it's crazy. I love that place. Um, I love being considered maybe part of their story a little bit. Uh, Piazza represents a special place in my heart. When I did the first event there eight years ago, I was in a very different place than I am now. I was scratching and clawing. I had only recently made the decision to make this a full-time venture. And so what I've decided to do with that at that stage was I rebuilt a website, but I built this kind of home base and I, I knew that I, I would try to get all my leads to go there and then I would try to leverage this in such a way that, that you know, if I, can, if I could get some traction and just make this work, I could make this a full-time job. So I started running Google AdWords, okay? And I was pretty poor at the time. Um, I had an entire monthly budget of I think $25, which is, if you've done Google AdWords, you know that's not a ton of money in that in that uh, in that format. I was really specific on my keywords. I would do uh, Grapevine DJ, Fort Worth DJ, Dallas DJ. And I would try to narrow it. Out. Even Dallas DJ is not even worth it because the cost per click on that's outrageous. You use up your budget, you know, in, in a day. So I got super narrow specific and. I got two leads within a week of this Piazza in the Village, and I, I knew I'd heard about it, but I'd never been. So I quickly toured the facility, and I met a venue coordinator there, Michelle, who has, uh, um, has a special place in my heart. Able to book both of these events, okay? and I was super pumped about this. Uh, and obviously, when you do stuff like this, you have to do a good job. I went in there, and I, I killed it. I actually did very well with these events, and Michelle, put me on the vendor list. It changed everything. So I think about this. I think about this a lot. Like I said, I've done over a hundred weddings in this venue. And inside those four walls, I've probably done $150,000 of revenue for my company. It's amazing when I think about it. The total cost of those Google AdWords ads was I think a buck 97. Um, so I was able to leverage that dollar 97 into $150,000 and growing business. I'm still there quite a bit. When I think about where I was in life and and the struggle and how hard things were, it's I, have, I kind of romanticize it a little bit. I won't lie. I look back on it. And I think, oh yeah, I miss those days of scratching and clawing. Let's be honest. No, we don't. Uh, but it is good to kind of reflect on that and be grateful for the time that you know I was able to get these little bits of success. I was able to go into that venue, do a good job, get on the vendor list. And none of this would have been possible if I hadn't just made the conscious decision to dig in, do that website, start promoting it, and what seemed like a very humble beginning turned into, you know, a very something that was very instrumental. I mean, I had this sort of game plan of where I was going with this business and how many years it was going to take. It really accelerated my plans for success. I probably took a couple of years off the timeline, the trajectory that I really thought it was going to take really kind of shaped a couple of years off that trajectory. It was actually able to propel me faster. Um, if at one point, it represented a very, very significant portion of my business, so much so that it became dangerous. So as soon as I was able to be successful there, I was able to start leveraging that success in other ways and get in with other venues, because obviously if I was doing that much there, other venues kind of saw the value too. So I was able to diversify. I did the same thing with planners. I did the same thing with you know all my other efforts. It's staggering to think that I could trace that all the way back to a buck 97, a dollar 97 and some effort with some SEO on a website that I did myself in my spare time after my day job. Um, you know, it's hard not to romanticize a situation like that when you think about it. So just want to shout out today that I'm very grateful for that. Happy anniversary to my first event at Piazza. Um, we're still a couple years from 10. I may have to do something special for that. So anyways, thanks for joining today and we're going to keep this one short. I appreciate you joining me and let's, uh, let's get out there. Subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. Got quite a few subscribers jumping on board over the last couple weeks. I really appreciate that. And anything I can do, anything that you want to see content wise, whether it's more events, whether it's more Q&A, whether it's more just talking like this, whatever. Tell me what you're looking for. This is yours. This is just an outlet for me to kind of share my life and be excited about it. I have this philosophy. I think everybody has this period of life that they romanticize, that they look back on when they're much older. I'm actually living that time right now. I feel like I'm super excited about where I am. So it's so much fun having such a good time. I'm just sharing this. I am really just documenting. So hey, thanks for joining. Subscribe, click on the link, and you know, let's see where this goes. Thank you so much. Thank you.